What's going on, y'all? So I'm debating on which one of these I should watch. I think this is the quicker one. This one is the longer one. We got all movie references in Chainsaw Man's opening. Did you catch every movie reference? I think I think let's see. Let's see what Vocal Pineapple Academy Academia says. Series to the channel, and that series is of course Chainsaw Man. I've been doing the usual work of doing a couple videos before the season comes out, and I've also been doing a lot of shorts covering all the things you have to know about the series. And I do plan on continuing. Kind of want to skim through. Kind of want to skim through. Check this channel again by tomorrow, and I'll have also one of. Reservoir Dogs, never seen. So this is this one here. Editing me, and I realize I missed this one. Is and I even tweeted this one out, so I didn't want you guys to yell at me and just post my own tweet in the comment section below. So the short little intro of them all walking in their suits in the street is actually a reference from Tarantino's movie Reservoir Dogs. Tarantino makes some good movies. I, so that, I'm pretty sure that's a good movie. Tarantino makes some good movies. Characters are being introduced, and it also shares a very similar kind of jangly baseline. The first kind of stuck out to me is when Den. The first one that we see is when Denji is hugging Pochita inside of a graveyard. This kind of stuck out to me right away because this isn't the graveyard that he meets Pochita at, right? Where he's kind of grieving his father and the loss of his father. And there's that little small, not even really a tombstone. It's kind of just a cross sticking out of the tombstone ground. Tombstone so it wasn't that And it's not the graveyard that Chainsaw we see Massacre. later multiple times in Chainsaw Man. And again, by the end of Chainsaw Man. Screen Ironic how they both have Chainsaw in them. exact screenshot that Denji is pulled from. And within Texas Chainsaw saw massacre it really didn't take all that long to find because it's from the opening shot of in its hands and the uh, meaning here is kind of flipped right because as opposed to i wonder what made them sad, do this gruesome thing of this body holding the head in chainsaw man it's this loving as no camera. i like it's very and creative features kishibe sitting down up a gun aimed at whoever is behind the camera and this all Pulp fiction i think this was at the beginning like when it was in a diner i think so was it was right because this is from Pulp Fiction and of course who could forget this legendary diner scene where Jules tries to get his BMF wallet back from Tim Roth's character and I'm sure that was it was a crazy movie I ain't gonna lie that's kind of a classic girl jumping down the well right and since they never fought in this location this is another place that stood out as being something that was either gonna be an opening original scene like some of the scenes that we see later on in the trailer or was gonna be another film reference and thankfully, since I don't really know anything about this movie, Twitter did come through and find out that this shot Sadako is actually from a Kayako. Japanese horror sort of comedy movie titled Sadako versus Kayako. And it's actually a crossover between the Ring and the Grudge franchises. Hmm. Where we see the titular main monsters from both of those series. That's the monsters because they're kind of ghosts or devils or something like that. Going to battle with each other, I think, or both trying to haunt the same person. I'm not quite sure, but I definitely do think I am going to rewatch all the movies that end up being in this list because I feel like that would be a really really interesting kind of just movie experience in the first place now this next shot of the opening features gal Gali sitting in a room sitting in a hotel i feel like i know what this one is oh no country for omit nah 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 never mind i think i was thinking i was thinking of a uh, which scene this is actually from i'd actually like to think that he's gonna go wow, he's tear through the hotels look at that exactly the same no country for old men where javier bardem's character anton takes a load off for a that second so cool. the hotel bed mid massacre to take his boots off so he can sneak around and get the shotgun shot to end the entire shootout and that's definitely not a movie that i have any problem with. I apparently Sorry. really really good at like handling tension i mean Ugh. Next up, we get a shot of Aki and Denji in a car driving away. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Out in the car. Uh, uh, and that sounds so familiar. I just don't remember what that. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Is that another Tarantino movie? Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. And in this scene, we see them pulling out of a drive. Sounds so familiar. Honestly, I don't really remember this movie all that much because the two or three times that I tried to watch it was either really, really late at night when I was going to bed. Or yeah, I think it's a long movie, house, huh? You know, you're at someone else's house, and I don't know. It wasn't really the big focus on my mind, but. That movie, of course, goes back in time in real life history to tell the story of the Manson family murders and of Hollywood around that time. It's more of a biopic of Hollywood than anything else. Now, after that, we have a shot of a small attack of killer Kishibe, tomatoes. Kobeni, Aki, and I forget this other guy's with the tomato devil, right? And of course, we have Kobeni on the table, right? Never heard of that one. That co -booty. And I know Kobeni being on the mm -hmm. table with her butt in the air is actually pretty distracting, but this scene is a little more distracting to me because I see the map on the wall, and that doesn't really match the way that the US or anything on Earth looks, which leads me to believe that in Chainsaw Man, maybe the world map looks a little different than the world map that we have here. I mean, we know a lot of the countries in the story are the same as the countries in the real world, and it seems to be set in a period that did happen in the real world, besides 
besides the fact that there are devils and everything, but could the destruction of things like the gun devil or other devils have completely shot in the opening we have is of ghost actors really really scared and having a horrifying expression it's another one i haven't heard of film which centers around the making of a wartime drama at an old movie studio plagued by the haunting of a mysterious woman the next shot is from a movie called jacob's ladder which jacob's features ladder. an army veteran named jacob who goes through it's a bit of a spoiler for the movie and it's an excellent movie honestly and i don't want to spoil anything about it but let's just say the angel devil here being in this shot right and being a character who pretty much makes physical contact with you and drains the rest of your life away being the person that's sitting on these steps right in this scene actually perfectly matches Macaulay Calkins character Gabe sitting here on the stairway ready to lead Jacob's character up the stairway up to the light that he's been avoiding mm. this entire time really, mm. really great. that's interesting definitely go watch that one please don't have it spoiled for you it's really really awesome I, I promise you I didn't spoil anything there just think to Aki on a rooftop as they're bathed by two big lights on the side and this shot is actually from Constantine, Constantine a movie with Keanu Reeves I'm, I don't know why I'm explaining Constantine you probably know what Constantine is I don't, right? don't. it sounds Keanu. so familiar Constantine like I feel like I, I feel like I recall Reeves it as he takes on demons and devils but he has lung cancer and by the final scene Lucifer ends up healing his injuries and his lung cancer and instead of walking away from everything he tries to quit smoking now that he has this new lease on life gives the spear over to Angela the other character here in the scene and looks over the horizon as he plans the shot that we see is up next and his friends the big lebowski alley doing some fun bowling and i don't remember there being any bowling scenes in chainsaw man so this is another one that stuck out as definitely being a movie reference and when thinking of bowling is the very y'all let me know if y'all seen some of these movies give me a the movie the big lebowski give me some reviews bowling ball in just a really inappropriate and funny way mm -hmm. it isn't from a film but it's from another one of fujimoto's works called goodbye airy and the reason that i'm including that here is because the one shot itself is very very See, fujimoto use, what other all stuff all has he has he um written because it seems like he's inspired by a lot of different things finder. and in the end of course we have that amazing scene of the main character walking away from an explosion that we don't know if it's real or if it's where Makima is standing on top of a bunch of books looking over a wall. Below that, there's another section of the wall that seems to show part of society, right? And we have Aki covered in snow looking at that. And below that, even further, we have a beautiful sky with clouds. And we see power from right after she first became the blood devil and didn't know anything and obviously was very ignorant to the ways of the world. And also Denji when he was young, before he really ended up becoming a devil hunter and still didn't know all the Life for things that is were different. There. And this actually Life is different for those who I've seen, but I've don't read books and the ones who do with a few people standing in different positions we have one person standing looking at a backdrop with a bunch of pretty flowers and the sun and the the clouds in the air kind of like denji and power are in the opening and that's supposed to represent a person who doesn't really know what's going on in life they're just happy with looking forward and being happy with whatever life presents to them but next to them we have a person standing on a lot of books and that person sees above the wall that's painted that the other person is looking straight at because they're not standing on any such an interesting concept it reminds me of the truman show any books but the second person sees absolute devastation right on the horizon showing the scary things that you can learn when you go out on a journey to get new information but the last person standing on the most books with the most knowledge sees the actual beautiful sky and the actual clouds showing that even though on the journey to finding knowledge things can get scary that you can come to a place of peace and understanding with the things that you've learned I ain't gonna lie. It's hard to understand all this. A lot to understand right here, but I feel like certain things you gotta just accept that you just don't know everything, can't understand everything, you know? Yeah, I think that's where peace comes. Learned. And this image, I believe, originally comes of text. I think it's from a book that says the world you see is completely different between those who read books and those who don't. And yeah, it's killing me that Aki is covered in snow and is standing on snow. That really, really hurts. But to find out why it really, really hurts, let's talk about that in the full opening breakdown that I will be uploading either later today or tomorrow so we can talk about all the things that we took away from the actual opening original scenes or anything that hints something that's going to be going on in the anime based on what we saw in the manga. So turn on notifications for that if you don't feel like That was an interesting video. I like that. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the like button for me. Shout out to Vocal Pineapple Academia. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.